Welcome to Certsy. Today's video is See Your Notes While You Present using PowerPoint Presenter View on Zoom. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Zoom so that you can see the notes that you've added to your PowerPoint presentation, but your audience will just see your slides. Okay, here's what you need to know to get started. First, this process will work on both Windows and Mac. I'm going to demonstrate mostly on a Mac today, and the process is slightly different in one spot for Windows, um, and I'll show you where that is. And the second thing is to do this well in advance of your presentation. Uh, not only so that you can work out any software issues, but also so that your audience won't see what you're working on behind the scenes as you get it set up. All right, let's get going. The first step is to open up both your presentation that you plan to use and your Zoom platform. Once you have both of these open, go ahead and open up a new Zoom meeting. And then we're going to look for that green share screen button. So go ahead and click on that. All right, at the top, you should see a tab that says advanced and click on that tab that says advanced. Then you'll see an option that says portion of screen. Select portion of screen and then don't go down and click on your blue share button. And you'll see this window pops up, this green window pops up and it moves around. So go ahead and drag it off to the side uh, because you'll need to go back to your presentation. Um, and so, all right, we're back to our presentation and what we're looking for next is presenter view. And as you can see for me, it's under the slideshow tab. Um, if you don't have this option, I'll show you what to do in just a minute. Um, but this is what it will look like if you do have presentation view. If it doesn't open up like this, then um, if you open up in what's called slideshow, I'll show you how to get back into that presentation view or presenter view, I'm sorry. If you look at the bottom, you can see the three dots inside the circle here. Go ahead and click on that and you should see an option to use presenter view. If you select that, it should flip back into presenter view. All right, let's go back to our green box. So the nice thing about this green box is that it moves around and what you can do is drag it over to one corner of your slides and then drag the other corner around so that it fits nice and snug around the edge of your slides and your audience will only see what's inside this green box. So your audience will see your slides, but you can still see any notes you've added. You can um, flip through your slides. You can see your next slide um, and, and help give a great presentation. All right, here is where it is a little bit different on a Windows machine. So I'm gonna flip over to Windows to show you what it looks like. And I already have open my presentation and the Zoom platform. Um, so you can see that right here. Um, I already have the, um, the meeting open as well. Okay, so what's gonna be different here is how we get into presenter view. And as you can see, I don't have it on my tabs up here on my Windows version. So I'm gonna click on play from beginning. And this is what it looks like. It goes into slideshow view. So just like on Win on Mac, we're going to go look for those three dots. And they're hard to see, but they're down there. And we're going to go ahead and click on those three dots. And the option to show presenter view shows back up on that. So we're going to click on that. And it will flip into presenter view. Now, what you're going to do here is find where it says show taskbar and it was hard to see so I added an orange arrow there. But once you click on show taskbar, your taskbar should pop at the, up at the bottom and we're going to go find that Zoom meeting. So go select your Zoom meeting and then go down and select share screen, that green share screen button again. And once again, the advanced tab and then portion of screen, select both of those and click on that blue share button. And just like on the Mac version, we have this green box. And once again, it moves around. So you can move it to the corner of your slides, um, adjust it around your slides so it's nice and tight. And then again, you can see any notes you've added. You can see the slides that are, that are upcoming and, and use PowerPoint in presenter view. All right, we're gonna go back to Mac here to show you 
um, why you should do this in advance. And so I'm going to go ahead and close out of my Zoom meeting to show you that this will get you all set up for your next presentation. So open up a new meeting. And this is just to show you what this looks like. You don't have to follow along, but I'm going to show you. Once I open up that new meeting and go to share my screen, select advanced again, and then portion of screen and go to share. And you'll see this green box pops back up right where I've left it. So if I do this in advance, my audience will only see what's in that green box. They'll only see my slides. All right. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Looking for more HealthCom content? Check out all of our trainings and resources at CIRTC.org.